AMD Radeon RX 7900 XT there hits their lowest price at 699 a fox first geforce rtx 40 graphics card is the rtx 4090 which is also a blower style design gigabyte litster unannounced amd ryzen 7 5700 suzanne cpu without graphics and lastly e3 2024 and 2025 is cancelled according to la tourism board but esa has not made their final decision yet this is tech track Okay, so firstly, if you go to Micro Center right now, you will be able to buy the Power Color AMD Radeon RX 7900 XT Hellhound overclock model, of course, at 679 or 699, depending on where you live, of course. But yeah, basically, they are giving the RX 7900 XT specifically this model from Power Color Hellhound, which is probably the MSRP model from the Power Color because there's Hellhound, there's another model I'm not sure that's a you know top tier model, but anyway, what's we need to look into the pricing here. 679 is quite a good price. Also, 699 is quite a good price. You know, it's just twenty dollars off. But yeah, like this is a GPU that went down from 799 to six. 99 a hundred dollar cut is a huge cut I, I have to say like that's pretty impressive and well to be honest with you i think it this card is not selling much compared to 7900 xtx because you know you just a bit more premium you can just buy the 7900 xtx so you people are going for that rather than 7900 xt but now i think this comes down to a middle ground where people would consider buying it because for 679 i mean it's not a bad card you know so yeah next up we have a fox officially launched their a fox rtx 4090 basically as you can see it's a blower style model so if you look into some pictures here basically uh, i know the website is not that hyper but yeah let's look into the pictures like yeah it's very basic generic blower style models that we've seen already from other companies out there and as you can see they're like quite similar though the design is well as you can see it's a bit different though i wouldn't call that different it's just the same thing but yeah th this is another rtx 4090 we are looking at coming with this blower style i'm not sure if blower style models are efficient for rtx 4090 in you know in any way because you know blower style models tends to have like high turbulence that's for sure but that fan might be doing something because you know it's a blower style and that's what they do to just suck in the air and then just blow it away that's why they're called blower style but yeah there's another model we're looking at a fox rtx 4090 that is coming with the blower style model and we already know what rtx 4090 does so if you're okay with something loud and fast well there it is next up we have something interesting and that is probably strange that is gigabyte has listed their x570 hours extreme cpu support list here as you can see all the amd cpus are listed here and one of them that really is strange is that they've also listed ryzen 7 5700 non xt of course so that is or non x i should say so that is very strange that they have added a, G a cpu i don't know if it's a mistake but it doesn't look like it's a mistake because we also have them uh, the specs leak though i would say that it's it's similar to what other uh, 5700g you know, it is similar to that because as you can see it's 8 core 16 3.7 to 4.6 maybe not quite similar but yes yeah, similar 3.8 to 4.6 and 4 megabytes of basically l2 and 16 megabytes of l3 cache here and this is a suzanne based cpu so yeah it's a uh, similar to the 5700g 7 nanometers and also six rated at 65 watts so very interesting that they have this cpu without any gpu of course because they don't have one as you can see it says no gpu added or no frequency listed so meaning that there is no i gpu inside so yeah this is basically the 5700g technically speaking but not with the igpu so yeah interesting i don't know they have released something like that but maybe they will We'll see about that. And last up, we have a confirmation from Insider Gaming is that E3 2024 and 2025 has been cancelled according to the LA Tourism Board. But Stephen Tortillo, Tortillo has tweeted this and that he says, ESA rep tells me that E3 2024's fate is t TBD. Basically, yeah, City of LA had listed it as cancelled, but ESA is still yet to 
give any opinion on that but what esa is suggesting that esa is currently in conversation with esa mem members and other stakeholders about e3 2024 and beyond meaning 2025 and 2026 you know because we haven't seen e3 for a long time now right no 2023 2024 no 2025 also according to la so and yeah they're mentioning that no final decision about the events have been you know made at this time so it may be possible that they might be switching the venue from la to somewhere else like maybe in texas or you know just somewhere else not in la because maybe the cost is an issue probably if that is the case they need to cut the cost and move to a different state where it is much more reasonable to even have an event but yeah e3 2024 and 2025 probably won't be happening anytime soon so that's a bummer